Alright, guys, they're playing some Kalista top lane versus Jax. And this game, we are running PDA Triumph, Alacrity, Cutdown, Bone Plating, and Overgrowth. This game, I'm going to show you how to carry playing some Kalista top lane. We're in a very, very, very hard matchup. I'd like to point that out here. So we're going to have a really fun time. Because, like, Jax can just, like, queue into me any day he wants. That will make it very difficult for me. Come here. And I got him ready. GG well played. <laughs> oh man, beautiful. People don't know the damage of Kalista top lane. They are very confused by my pick right here. <laughs> that makes it so beautiful. I love this pick. You can't go wrong with the Kalista top lane, man. You've got a really, uh, really strong 1v1. Ooh, I missed my E. My bad, my bad. Want to try and reset on the other one. I need to shove this in as soon as I can, by the way. Because Jax is going to come back strong here. Ooh, well, Mr. Cannon. Yep. Place of War down. Always good to have here. That's going to get under, under tower. Good. I kind of refuse to, like, stay in the lane because, um... I would definitely be able to like auto hit him under tower, but it wouldn't be a smart decision to do so. It's better if I just back off and I buy my items and then come back like way stronger because um, I'll have item advantage to wait for like pushing my direction too. It's good if I have tier, uh, tier 1 boots advantage as well because I can position better this way. Alright. It's going to be a very hard game too because... I suspect that Zack is going to be permacamping top lane. He's been missing. So he could be in top lane. He could be. Looks up to flash if he jumps on me in like a weird direction. Alright, pinging for my jungler. Let's go. I missed my Q. How did I miss my Q, man? Got him. Let's go. Yeah, this is a rough matchup. I can tell you. Like, well, I don't even have to tell you. This Jax can just jump in, in my auto range and just kill me like that. So, it is certainly not going to be easy. But, with the proper wave management, I hope that we will get somewhere. Because once we get, like, one item or two items, I can confidently tell that I will be destroying the entire game. So, it's, it's a matter of time. It's all a matter of time. Maybe once we get Blade of the Rune King like this, this game will instantly change. I'm not expecting this matchup to be... to remain bad forever, it's just temporarily. Could've had that one. Uh, let me just hold this one, because this is a position that I really like. Because Jax can't jump on me like this. There's no way he could. And I'm gonna put the lane kind of in a slow push. So that I can actually like push into Jax again soon. Got it. Saved the last hit. Oh, it still hit me. There's no way, I cancel my auto. I cancel my auto attack, bro. That's going to be a clean kill without even being close to dying. Oh, <laughs> oh, that's unacceptable. That should have been super clean. I almost died because of it. It's whatever. I'm glad I'm, I lived on. Alright. Alright. Let's go back. We're going to go for a Berserker's Greaves. I wish I could push more, but I can't. It's like getting stuck up, like, very close to the tower, which is super bad in my case, but... We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. As you can see, like, it got stuck up. So I lost, like, a portion of that wave. But since we are winning the lane anyway, since we are having a very good time against Jax, like, missing these three, four last hits is... It's gonna be okay. 
Scout's going for armor. Really smart decision by Jax to go for armor because it does directly counter me. Um, so far, got really lucky too because we actually didn't got to see the Zac yet. He's actually been ganking the other lanes. I kind of need the lane to like position in a in a good spot again. So just for now, we'll uh, play it a slightly more safe, just a little. Ooh, got that bone plating. Nice. Hmm. Just putting that slow right there, just because I can. Yep, I got you, GG. Exhaust like is something that you absolutely need if you're playing chaos the top lane and you're playing against whatever it is It's something you're gonna need to get because it actually uh, Slows down your opponent enough so that you can jump away um, if needed Because typically like Jax can just like walk up to me and just keep on chasing me down But if I pop my exhaust like not only does uh, it reduce like the, the amount of damage you could output but he's also being slowed and that allows me to like position a lot more safe, a lot more clean. Ooh, I missed that one. Okay. Well, I can't move forward now. I'm not scared anymore. Goodbye. I was actually using my E because I had Maokai up here. I just don't think that Maokai realized that I could just press R and just stopped him. But it's fine. Ah, we're getting ganked by Zack. Okay. Uh, just to be sure that I'm not going to die to anybody. I'm just going to go back. And we'll uh, specifically build lifesteal. Or... Uh, I want to get another long sword just so I can dish out as much as I can. The wave is like pushing my direction so I can show here. Nice. Alright. This guy is smart. He already has both the steel caps, which is a little unfortunate for me. I was hoping that Jack was going to go damage. Because then I could just keep on like killing him. But Steel Caps Jax is a little bit harder to kill. But we'll figure it out. Alright. Zack still not here. He is missing though. So we can't really overstay that much. Of course that hits. Got him. Just out kiting him. Excellent. Now we push. Whoops, I failed it. I need like a little bit more, like 750 is pretty much all I need. And at that point, I can just consistently keep on killing him. I mean, I technically already can, but it will certainly make things a lot easier for me. So we just push this one too. I have no intentions of like letting it push towards me right now. We got another one. My teammates are actually losing the game very hard, so this is going to have to turn into a 1 versus 9. A little bit. How much more? We need like 200, okay. Love that ward. He's trying to see where I'm going after. Yeah, let's go back here. I, I need like a little bit more, so I suspect I can't even buy it. Which is a bit unfortunate. I also want to roll mid lane, but it's not a good idea. So I'm just going to have to push in this next wave as well. Perfect. 
perfect. And now we go back. So, we can now finally buy it after Blade. I think I'm probably going to go Hurricane afterwards so we can get AoE damage. And let's go. We're 5 and 0 at the moment. My teammates are having uh, the worst game of their lives, so we're going to have to hard carry for sure. It's going to be a rough one. I'm uh, I'm mostly scared of Zack and Cassiopeia, to be honest. I'm not really scared of Jax that much anymore, because obviously that guy is out of the game. I'm uh, very scared about this guy, because it's very easy for Cassiopeia to old me or whatever. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> I love how the Jax just abandoned this guy. Oh, too bad. <laughs> Gold transfer for free, I guess. I don't know. I'll take that any day. Can I kill this guy too? That guy's actually ward so much, bro. Thank you very much. I don't know, man. I'm... <laughs> I like farming gold with these guys. <laughs> They're all worth so much. <laughs> these guys are all worth so much, man. They get so many bounties. They're literally walking towards me. Like, I don't know, man. I can't refuse. The freest kills in my life. Literally. I gotta be careful about Zack now, actually. Okay, we got it. Nice. Let's go back. We instantly buy my uh, my hurricane. What's going on here? Why are they forcing me like this? Seriously, why are they forcing me like this? What's going on? Oh, I just don't get the chance to reset, I guess. Ah, give me a chance to reset, bro. Okay, let's go. Um, Let's get that hurricane. And after hurricane, I think then we're going to go for... Um, I'm thinking towards Bluttercer, because then you get like... Um, if you're full HP, you gain like super, like super, like so much damage. You get so much damage, bro, if you get this item. Let's see if we can get some jump camps as well. Mm, I'm pretty sure they will eventually move top lane. If I die, then this game is GG. It's over at that point. So we gotta have to we we need to be careful. We have to be careful. I can't, like, play too aggressively at all. I need to stay consistent. Nice. Let's see what we can do. Guess there's no blue buff. Nah, there's no blue buff anymore. There are jungle camps. He can take it if he wants to. Well, or I'll take it myself then. That's fine too. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. I'll take that any day. You know, that guy is still worth a lot, you know. Any catch I can get, I'll definitely take it. I'm going to go back here. Uh, we'll definitely buy the BF sword. Nice. And next we're going to go bot lane. Maybe something that we can actually do in this game is... Um, 
specifically go for infinity edge it's definitely not an item that you're typically used to when you're playing Kalista. uh actually rage blade is but uh hey you know infinity edge doesn't sound bad here not at all Uh, I'm not going to go mid lane because Zach is actually walking up here. Unless... Uh, unless Chogat's going to walk in. Yeah, he can go in if he wants. Sure. Oh, I'm going to get CC chain. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I got CC chain, bro. You can see it on the stats here. Look, the fight took around 8 and 30 seconds. 8.30. Right? The fight duration. The CC duration is 6.54. I got CC'd for 80% of the entire fight. More more than 80% actually, because it's it's 6.54. Alright. Excellent. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna be going bottom next. I don't have ultimate, unfortunately, but if he makes time, then I can certainly get him. Okay, cool. He's got a shutdown? Wait, really? Him? 3-7? Shutdown? How did he get a shutdown? Okay. I killed that guy like billions of times. That's a bit weird. It's always interesting how this game like gets shutdowns based on like how far ahead a team is. It's always so weird. It's probably gonna die to the wave though. Or not actually. Oh, he's gonna die here. Yeah. Thank you very much. Walk back here, take that wave. Excellent. Yeah, it's time. We're gonna get my infinity edge. So we're gonna reset here. They're actually killing our top lane as well. And my teammates are unable to get anything done here. Uh, I'm gonna let Maokai engage first, because if I... If I get CC, I'm gonna die. <laughs> oh no. It's worth trying, I suppose. <laughs> That's two versus four. Yeah, too bad, man. Too bad, it's alright. Um, the next thing that we buy uh, will be a Bloodthirster. And then after Bloodthirster, it's, it's probably going to be like a final item being in Lord Dominic's. Or we can also go and take Mortal Reminder, but I'm, I'm personally thinking more towards Lord Dominic's actually, because they've got, they got so much HP. But it really depends. It's likely I'll just end up going with Lord Dominic's actually. It's kind of where my personal preference is, because Zack is the only one healing this game. Also, like, more attack speed would be really good to have, obviously. But it's not something we really need in this game. They put Drake, I bet you they're coming down here. Or not, they're not coming down here. They're actually running off in mid. Three people showing, so Cassiopeia and Zach can still be here if they want to. Nobody's up there, cool. We'll take that one as well. 
Just to be efficient. I bet you now they're gonna come balling. Yeah, I can take that. It really depends, because I can fight Zack here, obviously, but like, I, I only see three people at the moment. One guy's dead. Alright, cool. Take it. Now I've got to be a little careful because I suspect they may or may not go ball in. There's a chance. And maybe, maybe we can catch the Zerath here. I got him. This could be other people. So I'm just gonna walk back once more. Don't wanna like risk potentially getting wrecked by someone else. Let's pick up next wave. Alright. Let's go back. Let's grab the Bloodthirster, and then after that, we will go Lord Dominic's. Yeah, I'm definitely skipping on the uh, the Mortuary Minder. Thank you very much, top lane. We gotta eventually take that Baron away. We're not really playing around uh, around my teammates that much, but we don't want to. We don't want to be right where my teammates are at. We want to keep on splitting. Once we have a chance to like, flank them, we'll take that. It's much better this way, because then we can keep on like pressuring them. here wait a second hmm nobody's showing I'm not gonna walk in yeah that's specifically why I could try and flash across maybe And I caught on this easy. <laughs> yeah, I was slightly worried that was gonna happen. I can like beat everybody like very easily, but if I get CC chained by Zerat, it's pretty much done for me. Especially if I get exhausted along with it. It's not a chance for me winning. I need like 15. I'm uh, pretty comfy, like once we make it like full build, maybe have my teammates group up along with it, have my Mauka engage with my ultimate, I think we can win those fights. As long as the Kai'Sa doesn't like hard focus me along with Zerath, we should be okay then. Okay, let's do try. Cho will also eventually become a raid boss. Like he's going AP now, so he's so he's so kind of useless. But eventually he will reach level 16 with all the stacks. Nobody's up here. All right, cool. Break spawns, which is going to be theirs. We have nobody up there, so it's kind of pointless. Kaisa is walking down there. I could kill someone else that shows up here. Let's grab this one. Three people showing. 
<laughs> the teleport. It's, I don't think it's gonna work that well. That well, really depends. Got him. Alright, let's pick this one up. There you go. GG. We won the game. <laughs> There's not a chance, man. We won the game here like this. Because <laughs> the other half of my team actually killed off Jackson Casio. <laughs> oh, man, GG. But yeah, either way, this is uh, Coastal Top Lane. Thanks so much for watching today's video. And I'll see you next time. Peace.